welcoming in Sacramento Monarchs legend, Ruthie Bolton, eight years in Sacramento. You see your number up there, retired as well. Ruthie, when we look at your, your career and your time in Sacramento, what stands out to you? You know what, the fans stand out. The fans are so amazing. It's been, what, 15 years since I stopped playing. Every time I see the fans, even tonight, the fans, they were like, can, I, can you sign this? Can I sign that? I'm talking about it is the fans. They are true, the six man, and also the community. The community has been amazing. I, I love the community, and that's why it's just something that just grows on you. Speaking of the community, tell us why you're actually here at the game besides being with us nice guys up here. Dream big looks good on me. <laughs> it is, we're here with about 60 kids from Red, Reading with that venture camp and really reminding the kids to dream big that this is about them, that my gold medals, Hall of Fame, is as bigger than me. And I love being in the space of young people, reminding them to just dream big. Good for you. So, you know, you got your camp, you got the kids. What else are you up to nowadays? You know, I, I, I really go into the schools. Uh, I'm a mom. I have a 13-year-old and 11-year-old. They got big. You know, I'm from a family of 20, 12 girls, 8 boys. Get out of here. 12 girls and 8 boys. Okay, yeah, so, okay. But, uh, but really being a mom for my kids and really just really, I'm a huge advocate for you. And I have a Be Bold, Be Might, Be You program that I do with girls. And I feel like I wear my whistles too because I feel like life is a sense of urgency. Like I feel like a full court press yeah. that I can't just sit back. The kids need us. We owe it to them to really get in that space and remind them that, you know what, that they matter. That they uh, that they uh, that they belong here, right. and that's really the most important thing to me. Of course, obviously, I had a chance to play here. Back in the day, the Monarchs were better than the Kings when it came to the playoffs. You played for eight years in the WNBA. You think it's about time it, we brought a WNBA oh, team? It's back about to time. Start? Hey, you, do you want me to blow my whistle? Do you want me to blow my whistle? Hey, hey, blow it. Why blow not? It. Oh. It's game time, baby. It's game time. Yes, right. we need another team because the fans are ready. They are at the table ready. They want another team. I hear it all the time. So it's definitely time. Nice. You know, Ruthie, you, you talk about that sense of urgency. Where did you get that from? Is it growing up one of 20? You had to have that sense of urgency it, with yeah, all the brothers. Yeah, growing up one of 20, and I just, what, my sibling name? Oh, yeah, growing up in a family of 20. You want me to try to name my siblings? No, yeah. no. Okay, yeah. Because if mean, you get it wrong, you're going to get in trouble. The most important thing, I'm in 16 to 20. I have a twin brother, and I would show you my muscles are bigger than his, but I got the jacket on. But <laughs> Oh, she ain't lying. Them things are yeah, 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 She got know. some guns. But, uh, but growing up in a family of 20, my mom and dad gave us a foundation. And to me, it's just in me. It's in my DNA. In the same way I love to defend someone and hold a girl that's average 30 to 3 points, it's the same way I'm committed to giving back. Same well committed to changing lives because yeah. you know what? It is a race to the heart of the kids. We got to get that before the world gets there. Yeah. And the nice thing about it is because you're coming into the community and you're changing things. I love that about you. You've been doing it for a while. You've actually set a lot of standards as far as I've seen you in the community and things that I need to do better. But you keep doing that. Man. Hey, you know what? I would say we're on the same team. Yeah. You just give me the ball when I'm open. <laughs> we're on the same team. I don't got a problem with that. You about that? No, he, he never passed. We have he never Mike, passed as we a have Mike Bibby we up that. here. Right. Mike Bibby. We have Mike Bibby yeah. up here. I didn't have a choice but the pass because I knew yeah. it was coming back. I know if I give you the ball, it's coming back. Oh, yeah. Even though you got all them gold medals. Hey, you know what? It, the gold medal's great, but as I said, and it's not, it is so, they mean nothing to me if I can't inspire their power. I'm yeah. so committed. And I'm so excited about the future, about working with young people going to school. So anybody listening, hey, superintendents, teachers, Tell principals, them. I want to come to your school. It's game time. Cool. Tell me how people can reach out. Hit you up on the website, hit email me, what? Yeah, they can hit me up by uh, Ruthie Bolton. I know this cliche, at, at iCloud.com. Or they can just, can I give my number? Yeah. No, oh, no, 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 we don't social want to do that. Media. <laughs> social media handle? Social media, yeah. yeah. Tell them your handle. Uh, uh, go to uh, Facebook, uh, Ruthie Bolton, and, and also Instagram. Mighty Ruthie Bolton. Mighty Ruthie Bolton 58 at, uh, at uh, social media, yeah. Okay. You know, Mighty Ruthie Bolton. <laughs> so you got all these career accomplishments, whether it's the Olympics, eight years with the Monarchs, you played professionally overseas. What's the thing that you are most proud of? Great you know, question. The thing, yeah, the thing I'm most proud of, really, hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? you know, is it being a mom, Hope, 13, my son, 11, and they look up to me the same way I love going to the schools. I got to store at home. Right. I got to talk to my daughter, remind her that she matters, that she don't have to 
She don't have to let TikTok tell her how, how to behave. Oh, yeah. yeah, don't talk. You know, don't start on don't TikTok, start on, man. Listen, listen. Yeah, I'm I just got saying, you. you know what? You matter. When you look in the mirror, I don't care. You know what? Be okay with being you. Yeah. You oh, be yeah. the best version of you. And I have to say this. There's over 7 billion people in the world, and there's nobody in the world having a set of fingerprints. That's why I tell her and my son, you be the best version of you. That is what I'm most proud of, being a mom. And God bless me with the opportunity to be a mom over uh, Hope and Christopher. And uh, I'm not trying to sound religious, but the Bible said 11, 12, and 48, Luke 12 and 48, to whom much is given, much is required. Yes, yes. I tell you what, Ruthie can still go out there and probably get 10 oh, yeah. a game, right? You oh, probably can uh, get uh, double digits. Easy, right? easy. Oh, <laughs> easy, easy. Oh, yeah, I'm calling it. Yes, she still easy. can get buckets, obviously. Tell her, Ruthie. Humbly, humbly. <laughs> Ruthie, humbly. thanks for joining us. We appreciate everything you're doing off the court, impacting our community. The legend, Ruthie Bolton, right here. Give it up for her. Thank you, Ruthie.